Hi, I got a call a while ago talking about a refund for uh, Microsoft protection that I got a while ago. Correct. We are calling you from the Microsoft refund department. We are just calling you to inform you that you're entitled to get some refund from a company. Okay. We are the company who are responsible to all the companies who are connected with us. We are just calling you to return back all the money that you paid in the past for your computer protection and security purpose, okay? All right. So do you remember how much you paid, ma'am? Yeah, I paid 1,000 US, I think it was. It was somewhere around 1,000. Correct. So what we can do, let me tell you the procedure, how the money will be refunded to you. All right. You just need to go online, go ahead and kindly turn on your computer, okay? It's already on, What yep. we can do, we are... All right. What we can do, madam, let me first finish my work. We are just going to initiate a refund application form on your computer. You just need to fill up the form. Okay. Then the money will be refunded to you. So as your computer is on, let me guide you up with that step. What you need to do, so you will be get to see the form on it. Just do one thing. Do you have a Google Chrome? Uh, yeah. Can you open up that browser, Google Chrome browser? All right. Uh, hang on. Got it open. On the Google Chrome browser, look at the top of the browser. Can you see the address bar? Yeah. Where you can search or type something. Yes. Over here, you need to type the letters. Type www, three W as in whiskey. Yep. You have a dot? Yep. Then type help. H E L P help. Yep. Then type M E M E. Okay. You have a dot? Yep. N E T net. Alright, hang on. Can I uh, just, can you give me one minute here? I just gotta run and do something quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be fast. All right, I'm back and I'm on the website. Yeah, www.helpme.net, correct? Yep. Press enter. Uh, okay, hang on here. Now what do you see? Let it, me know. A stable, uh, a stablash support connection. So like established support connection. Do you see it's asking your name and support key? Yes. There's a two boxes. Right, so how to generate the form ma'am? Just type your name. Make sure you type first and last name. Okay, hang on here. To generate the support key. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready for the support key. All right. Now write down the support key three seven seven. Yep. Five eight zero. Yep. Seven three two. Yep. And I'm clicking continue here, and it says. Right. Is... And let me know what option you get to see. Let me know the option. That has come up after once you click on continue. Okay, it just downloaded go to opener. Click on that. Click uh. on the positive option that you see. Go yep. to opener. I'm just opening it here. Now what do you see? Do you see any option like allow, yes? Yeah, I just clicked allow click here. Click on yes. Yep. Click on yes. Stop. It's just opening up here. Click on yes. Alright. Now what do you think? Uh, it just said, uh, launch failed, uh, key was blocked by administrator. Alright. It, okay, it's what it says here, let me read the message for you. Um, it says, so the code you gave me, it says, go to syst was unable to start because the code given was reported fraudulent by the administrator. Or it's been corrupted. The support key's been corrupted. Okay, do not panic. Close this one. I will give you a new support key. Close this one. Alright. I will give you a new support key. Alright, hang on. I'm going back to that website. Alright, now what? where are you right now? You're in the support key box? Uh, yeah, here. It. Okay, try again. Alright, I'm ready to... Get the key again. So it right down the new key is three five six. One second here. What was the uh thing ww dot Sorry? What was the link? What was the link again? Ww dot Help me dot net. Help me dot net. 
All right, I'm there. Now you are in support key box. Yep. Type in the support key, the US front. Okay. Generating three five six. Yep. Uh huh. Did you write down? Yep. Nine four four. Yep. One three zero. All right. I'm repeating. Just read me back. Read me back. Okay, uh, three five six nine four four one three zero. Sorry, click on continue now. All right. Okay, it says the same thing. The administrator has blocked this as it's been identified as a scam. Okay, do, do, do one thing. We will be trying to generate the refund form in a different way. Close everything, every page, whatever has come up. All right. Each and everything. Now open up once again the Google Chrome browser. Open okay. it up. I got it opened. Now on the Google Chrome at the top, can you see the search bar? Uh, yeah. Over here you need to type the different words, new words, type team, P-E-A-M, team. Yep. Then type V-I-E-W, view, team, view. Okay, P-view, yep. Then E-R, E-R, team, viewer. Okay, hang on, I'm going right. to Team Viewer, yeah. Team Viewer, give it space, give it space. Uh, okay, yeah. Then number nine, type number nine. So Team Viewer nine, then what? Nine, yeah. press enter, now press enter. Okay, hang on here. Now do you see lots of options came up? Uh, it's loading here, and now it says an error occurred, and I went to teamviewer9.com Can you see an option called previous versions of teamviewer? It's written. No, it, it it just says an error TeamViewer. occurred. Do you see that? No, it says an error occurred. That's all it says. It seems that our current domain is pointing to our servers. That's all it says. Internet is connected to your computer? Yeah, I got internet. I, I got everything. Cause like this is we it's got. Okay, we, do one thing. Do one thing. Look at your computer keyboard. At the left hand side, it's trip down corner. Do you see the control key C T R L? Um, I see the command key. No, no, control key. Look at the keyboard at the left hand side, it's trip down corner. Well, I don't know if it would make it. This is a MacBook. I don't know if that would make. Is that okay if it's? Oh, a, it's a MacBook. It's a MacBook. All right. Do you have a Chrome Safari? Uh, I have uh, the safaris, yep. Safari Open up your safari. Yep. I got it open. Over here you need to type www dot three w then give a dot. Yep. One five zero. Yep. Give a dot. Yep. C O C O yep. Give a dot. Yeah. I L. I L. Yeah. 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 Press enter. And there's this weird site that says uh, "Show my PC, Team Viewer, Any Desk." All that. All right. Do you see the la nine number option? Nine number. Yeah. Team Viewer nine. Nine number. Nine. Nine number option. Team Viewer new. All right. I'm clicking there. Do you see that? Team Viewer New? Yes, and now it's downloading. Click on that. It's downloading. Okay, wait. It's an executable. Okay, it's downloaded. Now, now do you see a run option? Uh, okay, hang on. Um... Now it says it's unable to open a .exe because it says it's built for a Microsoft operating system. Microsoft. It's not opening? It, it says it's unable to open on a Mac and it said it's built for only um, in Microsoft. Oh my god, no website is working on your computer, ma'am. You see that? No, I downloaded it and it, I'm trying to open the dot exit. Trying to open. Double click on that exe file dot dmg. Do you see that? It's not a dmg. It's a dot exe. Double click on that. Double click on that. Okay. Double click on it. Hang on. I'm just. Now what is? 
I'm okay. Okay, hang on. So I'm going to just double check here. So okay. So I double click it, and it says was unable to open the .exe. It is built for the Microsoft operating system. Yep. No? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. No, nothing come up? No, it just says was unable to open. This .exe is built for a Microsoft system. Mom, do one thing. It's clearly not working or you're kind of joking with me. Well, yeah, of course I'm trying to joke with you. I know you're a scammer and you need to literally... Okay, how many people are you fooling, okay? You're literally... I don't understand how you can, like, steal money and feel fine with it.